guys, welcome back. Today I'm just gonna be opening some package because packages. It's like the past week or two, like I've just been cleaning and organizing and just going through all the things. So I've been placing some orders here and there for some things, and everything's just kind of piled up now. Okay, first up, what is in this one? There's loose stuff that I took out of the packaging to see what it was. I have a whole other stack of things that are from companies. So first up, let's just see what's in here. This is, oh, this is from QVC. I'm just gonna start off. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Limited Edition um, Extreme. It says instant and long-term lip plumper. This is from the, uh, this is the Beast thing. It's from the, um, what, honey bear, whatever, with the little bears. Oh, look how cute. It's supposed to taste like what, graham crackers or honey? Oh my gosh, we're gonna try it out. Hold on, I throw that down there. Look how cute, look how cute this package is. Look at the bears. Oh, there's like a whole collection of this, but I just really wanted the, um, yes, the lip plumper, instant and long term. All right. Mmm, it smells good. What is that scent? Well, they're instantly smooth and shiny, that's for sure. Yay! I forgot I ordered that. Oh. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so there's that one. There's also, there's another little thing on here from... This is from QVC also. This is the Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighting Brush. I don't know. Sometimes you get a notification from QVC. Oh my gosh, my battery's flashing. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Hold on. Okay, so like I was saying, wow, you're really zoomed in now. Um, but sometimes, if you're a QVC member, whoa, wrong way. You got the stinging going on right now. Anyway, if you're a QVC member, then you know, like, sometimes you'll get a notification that'll say, um, I don't know, five easy pays or six easy pays or sale, beauty sale. Well, me and my sister, were suckers. Like, if I get one, I'll let her know, like, hey, five easy pays or whatever. And she'll be like, oh, damn it. And, and like, give me crap for, like, letting her know because, like, she'll get on there and hop on order stuff. So I was on there one day just, like, looking at things. I don't know why. I thought I needed this brush. It's just a freaking makeup brush. Like, I mean, it's cool looking, but <laughs> it's just a makeup brush. What does it say anything on it? It says highlighting in pink right here. You probably can't even read it. This is like a gem or like a diamond handle. Oh, it's just a pink brush. I mean, it's a cute brush, like for highlighting. Da -da 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 -da. I have no makeup on right now whatsoever. But yeah, I got myself a cute little highlighting brush from QVC. Oh, this is from QVC. All right, let's just move some stuff. Ooh, what's in here? What's in here? Oh. Okay. Also from QVC. They had this um, MAC Prep and Prime, the MAC Fix, Mac Fix Plus, I have some that I've been using. I've literally been using it for years. I'm like, okay, I need to get new because that cannot be good anymore. Um, and it feels good on your face. It's great if you're using like, to like make highlighter really pop. Look at the packaging though on this box. Do you see like the sparkles in the box? So it's this big Mamma Jamma. This is a 3.4 fluid ounces. I just need to get rid of all this packaging. So there's that. And then it came with a little one, which would be great because I'm going on a road trip here in a couple weeks. Yay! Look how cute. Look how cute these bottles are. Seriously. So there's that. Got some Mac Fix Plus. It feels and smells so it's just like so refreshing. <sighs> what does it even say on the box? Because I use it like as a finishing spray, but also sometimes if like my face looks dry or dull. I kind of spritz it on there. A soothing moisture mist that refreshes the skin and finishes makeup. Hold bottle 12 inches away from face and spray evenly. Use before or after makeup. There you go. 
So you can use it on a plain face, like freshen up your face. If you're like feeling like dry or just hot with these freaking hot days we're having lately. Um, I think there, I know. Okay, this one is from QVC. Also, this one I shared on TikTok. At Christmas time, I got the um, Philosophy. Gone. This the philosophy set the bubble bath set and I got it in like the Christmas sense. Well, this is the summer collection. Look at it. So it's the summer collection. It's the small bottles. Like if you, I mean, you can get a big, huge bottle, like a 64 ounce bottle. But I like to get these like scent these season sets or whatever. So this one has 12 different scents in there. So it has this Senorita Margarita. These are all shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I use them either to shave. Like if I don't want to use my L'Occitane um, shower oil. Or I use this um, as it makes the best bubbles. Like you squirt some in your loofah and put in the water keep squeezing your loofah. It makes the biggest, like thickest bubbles ever. So there's Senorita Margarita. Passion Fruit Daiquiri. White Cherry. I'll look at them so you can see the colors. Um, fresh Cream. The White Cherry one's like white with like some pink like effects this one is white peach this is basil cucumber cooler all the summer spring summer says I love this lemon drop martini sweet vanilla fig and these are great for traveling too because there's they're pretty compact uh, melon daiquiri vanilla coconut orange pineapple smoothie and bubbly like a champagne -y one remember that bubbly and beauty are already in your body lucky are those who live with links rather than lies and celebrate each delicious breath they take celebrate the emotions that make you laugh and cry it means you are alive and free to feel so lucky there we've got a prep and prime throw on the road and a little bath bubble bath shower gel and shampoo all in one all i need is like a little travel size conditioner i'm good to go i have one in the bathroom so yeah so that I got from QVC. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to put those right now. So those are staying in the box. Where's my other box from QVC? Let's see, we've got Scentsy, Amazon, Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh. That's from Amazon. What is this? Put Scentsy up there. Amazon. I know I have another, oh here it is. I know I have another one from QVC. I might as well confectionery soaps co. Okay. This I also got from QVC. If you watch my channel, you know that I are that you'll already know that I love the Purity Made Simple, the one step facial cleanser. I have a huge 64 ounce jug of this. Um, is it 64? Let's see. Yeah, I have a sick, I'm pretty sure it's a is it a 64 or is it this size? Maybe it's a 32. So maybe that's what I meant is 32. Anyway, I have a huge one of these with a pump in it, like beside my sink for when I use my Clarisonic at the sink. And then like when I go to take a bath, I move the big jug down to the ledge of the bath so I can use it in the bathtub. So now I have two of this huge one so I can keep one in the shower, one at the sink. Yay. Oh, and I also got, it came with two little ones. So this is a smaller one. I could use like the, keep the big one at the shower and the small one by the sink, I don't know. Anyway, so that I have the 32 ounce, this is an eight ounce, and then this is a small three ounce. Look, now I have my little travel, so I can take this on the road too. Yay! Like I ordered all this like before I even knew I was going on a road trip. So there's that. But what I'm most excited about in here, I know I, I already know I love this. It's like the only thing I use to wash my face for years, literally years. That's all I use to wash my face. But they also have this, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. Progress is made in baby steps. Each micro win contributes to a manifestation of our best selves. These micro efforts can smooth the bumpy road of, of time and along the way lead to micro moments of monumental of monumental renewal on our path to well-being. This is a micro exfoliating daily face wash. This is like a, well, look at this. Uh, micro exfoliate, so it has a teeny tiny scrubbies. Why is it saying I don't have space on my thing? So yeah, so it's a micro exfoliating facial wash, but it's gentle enough that you can use it daily. So I thought like, 
on days that are like a super deep clean, I'll use like my super scrubby stuff, but then like on a daily basis, um, especially in the summer when you're hot and sweaty every day, all day long, um, I can use this like daily. So it comes with this one, the 32 ounce, and it comes with a small eight ounce. So again, I keep one in the shower, one by the sink. Right now I just need to find a place to set them on this desk of mine. Not even really a desk, but whatever. But I was going to tell you quickly, on Philosophy, like all of their little things, like this is a lemon drop martini. So it says, one ounce freshly squeezed lemon juice, two ounces vodka, one ounce simply simple syrup, one to two mint leaves. Pour into shaker filled with ice. Shake well and strain into a martini glass rimmed with super fine sugar. Garnish with a lemon wedge and a mint leaves. Cheers with a friend and enjoy. They each have like a, their own little recipe on them. Fresh cream, two cups heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon vanilla, four tablespoons confectioner sugar in a large bowl. Beat heavy cream to soft peaks using an electric mixer. Add vanilla and sugar. Beat cream mixture until stiff peaks form. Use to top your favorite treats, then enjoy. That's how you make like fresh whipped cream. Basil cucumber cooler. Combine one medium cucumber, two cups of basil, basil leaves, one cup of lemon juice and a half cup of sugar into a blender until smooth. Strain into a pitcher and discard the solids. Add cold water and whisk to combine. Garnish with cucumber and lemon slices and serve over ice. So each one has a recipe. Like, that's how all their stuff is. I love it. It's just so clever and so cute. So that everything that's in that box from QVC. Oh, yay! It came with pumps for the big bottles. Yes! I love that. I'm glad I checked in here. I was just ready to pitch this box. Always double check your boxes. Young Bottom Polish, Nicole, she was just throwing away her stuff. And she found like a whole set of four different mascaras from Essence. That's so funny. It's easy to do. Is that it from QVC? I think it's from QVC. So next up, what is this? Oh, this is, I believe, from Amazon. Because, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to order, get things in order and declutter them. As far as like snacks, beauty products, like every room. I've been going through and cleaning every room top to bottom. Yay. So this is, I'm like obsessed with these, um, excuse me, uh, Lazy Susan turntable things. Okay, so here's this one. This is a tiered one. So let's see, A has three bins. B is the large bin. C is the top Susan. D is the bottom Susan. E is the adjustable frame. Okay, I'm super excited about this. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so here we have... So that's the bottom one. Let's see if I can do this quickly myself keeping it real let's see how clever I am okay just a little frame oh that has like a rubber grip on this is awesome um so that goes that way oh so it screws into the bottom of this top one um I feel like these notches Oh wait, that's not right. <laughs> oh my god, it's Angie proof. Because I'll go at the top. How did that go in there? It has these notches, but I feel like the not. Oh, I see. I feel like there's notches on the wrong side. Okay. So there it's attached to the top one, and now we're gonna attach it to. bottom which way do you turn it uh oh come on it's hard to twist it in when it's when it rotates there we go okay so there's the bottom there's the top look Here's the little bins to go on the bottom. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so there's the bottom. The bottom Lazy Susan has the divided trays that you can remove. The top is the, the, the single bin. And if you wanted to put taller things in the bottom, how does it work here? Does it flip open? Look at that. You can use it bathroom storage, underneath the bathroom sink. And look at that. Yay! So you have the divided containers on the bottom. Or if you didn't want to use the divided containers on the bottom, you could open But if you didn't want to use them, you could just take it off of the bottom. So here it is. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. Two tiers of rotating storage. Love it. I'm just gonna open this little flap back up, lower it back down. So there's that. That makes me so happy. Oh, so happy. Let's see. I'll set this off to the side. What's in this one? This is an Amazon package. I got I got a giant box the other day of these like lazy susan ones these are black ones i'm not using these for like kids type stuff because they won't get dirty as easily and this has five sections on it but they're markers crayons and whatever the heck so i have four of these they're down here on the floor because they're like in a ginormous box um in here oh so clarissa here on youtube talked about this book that she likes and I thought it sounded so awesome. So it's the Midnight Mom Devotional. 365 prayers to put your mama heart to rest. So what is today? Let's see what today's is. Today is June. And you can just use it year after year. So today is June 20th. So she said before she goes to bed, she will read this. At the bottom it says, tonight I'm praying that tonight I'm praying this for. And she said sometimes like somebody will come to mind and she'll pray for them. But she said a lot of times it's for herself because she just needs help. I don't want to cry though, okay? Let's just, today's. Today's June 20th. Tonight we pray for the mama who is a widow. Oh, this one's not me to cry. She has suffered a tremendous loss and though she is on a journey to healing, she... This is insane because today when I was at the grocery store, I ran into my friend Kat and her husband died just a couple years ago. Like she's in her 30s. Oh my god, this is crazy. I just saw her today for the first time in like two years. I think it's the first time I've seen her since Jax was born. Wow. Okay, tonight we pray for the mama who is a widow. She has suffered a tremendous loss. And though she's on a journey to healing, she still has days when she doesn't know how she's going to keep it moving forward. Lord, you know how much her heart aches. You understand the physical pain of grief. You know she carries the weight of leading the family that she and her husband created together. But you also know she's not carrying it alone. You haven't left her and you won't leave her. Tonight we ask that you'd surround this mama with those who understand. <laughs> we ask that you would bring comfort to every hurting place in her heart. Give her rest and cover in your love. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Tonight I'm praying this for Kat. <laughs> that's so, that's so strange because I'm not kidding. It's the first time I've seen her, I think, since she came to see Jax when he was born at the hospital. He's two. And that just happens to be today. He <laughs> said, I just happened to open this box today. Wow. Like, here's one for the mama who just moved. Tonight, we pray for the mama whose heart is racing. Tonight, we pray for the mama whose child has been diagnosed with any chronic condition. So, I think this will be just amazing. Wow. I'm so, I'm so glad that Clarissa... I'm, like, in total disbelief right now that that's the one for today. And I just saw her today. Wow. She recently got remarried, and her and her new husband have a little um, a little boy. He, his birthday's this coming weekend. I was just talking about this in today's eating video. Oh, my gosh. So, he's like two months younger than Jackson. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. So, it's Midnight Mom Devotional. So, every, yeah. Each night's meditation offers a different prayer for mamas in all circumstances of life, including being fearful and anxious, needing a miracle, caring for a sick child, feeling tired and overwhelmed, welcoming a new baby, experiencing sorrow, getting ready for a new beginning. In the stillest of the night, take heart in knowing that women across the world are joining you in prayer and that God is listening and loving you right where you are. Wow.
what is that a winter storm or a tropical storm so yeah there's that i can't even i can't even i don't have words okay next up in this box from amazon oh let's see what these are the large clear because i i was on a kick of wanting all these color bins and everything now i have a garage full of color bins i'm on this clear kick oh my gosh that's so much better just having that out of there so these I forget who I was even watching. They were stocking their pantry. Who the heck was it? It wasn't on the home edit. Who the heck was it? I forget. And they had this lazy Susan. So this one has the five different sections, but it has removable trays. So if you have bigger things that need to go in one, oh, this would be great on my counter because I just put my uh, vitamins and stuff in the one on the counter. It has three slots, but the one slot's almost too small. This might be going on my kitchen counter because I have my like the liquid IV hydration packets, my pre-workout. So anyway, it's just a lazy Susan, but this one has the removable. Okay, so it just slides over the, the removable slots. So I got two of those. I'm telling you, I'm so over the clutter and all that crap. Okay, get that out of here. Let's see, there's that. This is Boxy Charm. Factory Soap Co. Oh, this is from Amazon. I blame this on TikTok. Oh my gosh, there's so many things I like think I want or need from watching TikTok videos. So this is a dryer sheets holder. My dryer sheets sit on top of this table in between the washer and dryer. Who even knew? I never knew they made a dryer sheet holder. So it has a huge magnet. It can stick right to your dryer. It says laundry, good, clean, fun. It has it on both sides. So no matter which side of your dryer you put it on, it's, I thought I got gray. Apparently I got white. So yeah, it's just like a tissue box. You put your dryer sheet box in there and you just pull your dryer sheets out. I know, right? I know. So there's that. On the same lines as that, now I want to go down and clean my laundry room, which I need to anyways. My laundry room and the exercise room and this room are like the last rooms that I went through and like cleaned every room like top to bottom. But I need some organizational things to be able to finish all that. What the heck? I thought I got them in gray. I must not have. I thought I got all of these in gray. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so this... Okay, you know when you're cleaning out your lint from the dryer and it's like it kind of goes everywhere? Not anymore because this is the lint bin. Loads of fun. It has a big magnet on the back. So this also will stick to your dryer. This is like a plastic. Oh, this is light gray. So this is a plastic one. It's light gray. Yeah, because this is white for the dryer sheets. That's okay. White and gray look cute together. So you have your dryer sheets thing. You have your bin to put your lint in, just to collect it, because you don't need like a huge trash can just for lint. Thank you for your purchase. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at the size of that magnet. There's that. And also, oh, that's cute. What is that, like a free gift? Oh. Is that to stick down in the freaking dryer thing to get the lint out? This must have been like a free gift with purchase because I didn't order. This, like, I've always wanted, like, I try to stick my hand, like, down in the slot of where the lint filter is. By George, I guess they make a tool for that. And this looks like it's it. Is that really what this is? You stick it down in there to clean the lint out? I think it is. So there's that. And then, you know, you're doing laundry and you're checking pockets and all that and you find little, little crap in there. I thought this said something on the front too. Seven days home. I thought this said like little treasures or lost treasures or something. I need to check my order because I don't, I thought it said lost treasures. So as you as you clean out pockets, you find change, you find rocks, whatever it is. If you have kids, you just throw them in here so they don't go in your washer or in your washer, and then like you just pull them out of here whenever, every so often, clean it out. Lint bin, loads of fun. I'm pretty sure this. I thought this said um, lost treasures because that's why I thought it was so cute. And it might I might have looked at one that said that and decided to just get this one because it came with it. Who knows? Who can keep track? 
Okay, so this is Bath and Body Works and Scentsy. I'm trying to get to this one under here. That is an Amazon box. I'll save these for a little bit later. Okay. So in this box we have I'll tell you TikTok. Ouch. Actually, I think I saw this on Mel Beezy's video. So this is like beside my stove, in between my stove, or not my stove, in between my refrigerator and like this little part of the wall where the trash can is. I have the brooms in there, like the Swiffer thing and the dustpans. They're always falling. So I got this broom and mop holder. It has like six slots. You put the handle into the slot and it kind of grips on it. Um, I don't know how, because I can't put holes in the walls. It says five position wall organizer and it has six hooks. Cause it has hooks in there too, like hang like um, scrub brushes or like your dustpan from a little hook. So I was thinking I could find a way to hang this on the side of the fridge instead of on the wall. So yeah, it's just this holder to hold your brooms and crap. So they're not falling all over the place all the time. And next up in here, are you kidding me? There's a little spider in this box. No, 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 no. Ew, now I'm freaked out. Where's a tissue or something? I'm terrified of spiders, you guys. Like terrified, scared to death, freak out. And this is in my room and on my bed. <gasps> die, die. Oh my God, I'm really ready to cry and puke. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm trying not to get sick right now because I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God. I was like this big okay I'm a baby I'm terrified it's okay I will always be that way it's fine it's fine everything is fine okay okay back to it so it's this little four-piece set of these little containers Jacqueline Hill has me wanting to order some little marble containers like my confectionery soaps co like chop up my bubble bars and put them in these little jars I need to just stop it though. It's just too easy when you're trying to order. It's like, oh, I could use this, I could use that, and you hop on Amazon. It's like right there, and it's cheap, and you can have it in two days. So this is just a little four-piece set of these little clear jars. It's for like Q-tips, um, cotton balls. Look how cute! And I'm over the whole glass thing right now because I'm just fed up with glass in this house. So Q-tips, cotton balls, um, makeup wipes, whatever. So there's, is there, I think there's three that are solid. Yeah. And then like I have my um, face, facial cottons and like an actual glass in this rotating stand in the bathroom. I need to reach down there and try and just get one. Like this is so much easier. They're just, it's right here. You can just grab it from the side and grab one and pull one out. Like, oh, and it came with little labels, cotton swabs. Oh, and floss picks. Oh yeah. Cause the one girl, Midwestern mama on TikTok, she, I just love watching her like restocks and her just all of her everything that she posts i love it and she puts like the teeth picks in one so you could have your cotton swabs your cotton rounds in one cotton rounds q-tips cotton balls wait that one doesn't get a lid what am i doing I'm just get <gasps> don't break them look i'm all flustered now from seeing a freaking spider all right facial cotton q-tips cotton balls the little floss picks which i have them for the kids they're just it because like mine's on like the thing like a handle like a toothbrush handle and i buy the refills but like, i buy the little ones for the kids and to keep on hand for like, anybody else and they're just like in a bag in the bag that they come in in the bathroom on a shelf so it'd be much cuter to have them in their own little container there's the containers here's the cute little lid labels there we go See, we are getting it done. It's a good thing I didn't try to go through and organize my cupboard already because I didn't have these to do it. Now I do. So there's that. And then I think I'll do like a separate video for the other stuff because that's like house, like Scentsy and Bath and Body Works. Yeah, so I'll do those in a separate video. I'll go ahead and film it real quick before the kids get home. Um, 
that. So stay tuned for that video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this one. I need to hurry up because they're on their way home. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.